Ohio for Freak Stomp Music Festival, yeah. and I am here with the boys, the Tropodemic in the house. How you feeling, guys? Wow, well, great. Yes. Thrilled to be here. Thank Good. you for <laughs> taking a moment in this crazy, you know, world that we're living in this weekend to speak with us. Hey, we love We it. appreciate it. So to kind of take a moment, it's the end, well, almost the end. Actually, this day hasn't really begun, but you've had one kind of day under your belt to reflect, kind of, you know, what are your thoughts? What, are, what feedback have you been getting? How, how have you been feeling about the festival so far? I've been feeling good. I've been enjoying myself. So yeah. else is having a good time too. I was seeing you bobbing around, you know, throughout yeah, the camps and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I'm having a great time too. Yeah. Um, it's hard not to have a great time here. Yeah, no, absolutely. I honestly have not come across a single person that seems out of place and or, you know, unenjoying, you know, of the environment around. So I think you guys have built up a really cool spot for everyone to sort of you know, reunite. I feel like yeah. we correspond online throughout the year and everyone has these families, these, you know, groups, and this is the spot we can kind of let loose. Absolutely. Vacation for a day. <laughs> uh, why was Freak Stomp, you know, why, how did it come up, how did it come to be? Why, why, why did you guys want to put on a festival like this? Oh, uh, it was kind of like you just said, just, you know, make all these friends across the country. Um, Ohio is a huge festival sort of region and, um, we had some friends that were putting on festivals, and we partnered up with uh, Jim at JSG Live, and thought it was a great opportunity to kind of bring everybody out from all over the country. Right. I think we got 15 states plus Canada or something this year, so. Incredible. Wow. The reach, I swear. I mean, the moments leading up to, you know, Freak Stomp, you just saw on Facebook everyone posting, like, people are driving 8, you know, 12, 15 hours, you know, to come out here to this. Very humbling. They've been counting down the days, and it's incredible, you know, to really find people that share similar interests and similar, you know, backgrounds, and everyone kind of can relate to one another through your guys' music. So it's really, you know, cool to that you guys were able to kind of form this spot. The Trombaholics are no joke. They are a tight-knit group. Don't you forget it, baby. Dude, they got it figured out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they've got whole sections set up over there. They have events planned out. They got potlucks. They've got kid zones. You know, so many positive places. You know, there's so much going on at any given They're time. Animals, every single one of them. Yes. All of us that. <laughs> you can tell. You know, right when you walk in, it is a freak show down there, but in the best possible way. Yeah, okay, I can say that. But you can't say that. No. <laughs> 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 Look, I'm still a fresh baby. I'm a freak sound you know, virgin, really. This, this is your first, first time. time, guys. First time. I'm really being introduced to you know, this. Questions. How are you? <laughs> you know, honestly, Ohio is unlike anything else. This weather has been Pretty incredible. <laughs> and just the entire atmosphere, you know, everywhere. Everywhere you turn, there's, you know, some beautiful sights. And yeah. It's so green, so plentiful. I'm in love with it. The good earth is rich. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> fertile, if you will. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Freak Stomp is rich and fertile. We have the tagline. Absolutely. <laughs> so you guys have been able to kind of put together a pretty stacked, very talented lineup, you know, full of individuals that love to get together and collaborate with each other, you know, especially you guys. What collabs are you guys looking forward to kind of see, you know, tonight? We still got a solid night left. Got a long night left. Mm -hmm. The possibilities are endless. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I even know what's going to happen other than the ones that we can Those are usually the best, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you kind of, you know, there, there's like, when you're in the right place at the right time, and I feel like you brought all these people together. We just got to talk to Shrub. Oh, nice. And it was, I mean, they're incredible too, but just nice. everyone kind of from different walks of life. A lot of these bands from Ohio, like Rockstead and everything. You know, I would say this year, our host, Toby, jump up with all the Toby has He's been, been killing it. Everybody. He's awesome. Yeah, oh, my it. gosh, man. Toby Raps knows what's going on. He's the ultimate ringmaster, really. Indeed. <laughs> So uh, let's talk the origin of the sex. It's a question we get a lot, you know, where... The sex always <laughs> where has been and begin? always will be. <laughs> well, it all started with Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, yeah. <laughs> Garden of Eden. When you really break it down to the basics. <laughs> no, actually, where it came from... I remember just one time we, uh, 
We played with Bump and Uglies at the Grog Shop on New Year's Eve. <laughs> And somehow I started this chant before we went on, and Brandon Hardesty was with us, and I was just shouting, who's going to give them the sex? And we were all shouting, we're going to give them the who's sex. Who's going to give them the sex? We're going to give them the sex. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I saw a lot of these West Coast horn sections had names. And I'm like, those are really cool, serious names, but we need something that kind of fits us. And then just like I got on all the socials and announced that we are the sex, and it just happened And it, from it is, you know. It was between that and the moon pies. Close <laughs> <laughs> runner up. You'll meet the moon pies one day. No, no, absolutely. I know. Collabs are a thing, I'm telling you. <laughs> you never know what you're going to be walking into. So you guys are, you're funky, you're fun, you're groovy, you have a great time on stage, your energy. Yeah, yeah you, your chemistry, you know, all of you are so different yet, you know, come together beautifully. And your dance numbers, I must say, are flawless. Stop. Who's the choreographer? Who, you know, who really made sure that, you know, those, those moves went right? They're plants. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, so that's, that's kind of me. Into, yeah. Yeah. Gino's helped out a couple yeah. times. I'm going to go ahead and out and say we're, we're a two-trick pony. <laughs> yeah. We have the, the side to sides. Yeah. And maybe my, a one-trick pony. What <laughs> what's, what's we have? <laughs> the screen cross <laughs> yeah. My dad was an extra on the movie Bring It On. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up a lot of the moves from, from him. I was going to say, the hits don't lie. Dan. I can tell <laughs> Derek's dad has great spirit fingers. Yeah. <laughs> better ass. Yeah. Better ass. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not cool, me, Andy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys have been very busy. You had the new album, Here in the Heights, that just dropped. A phenomenal album. Really just great songwork. I saw that you guys were kind of breaking down each song, you know, to uh, your fan pages and letting people know, you know, kind of how they, you know, were structured and the different ways you sort of grew with this album. Would you say that the reception that you guys have been receiving is kind of like how you want it? I feel like you guys have been able to sort of fine tune, you know, your sound and what you want to put out. Are you feeling good about it? Yeah, I mean, I think the responses have like exceeded our expectations. Honestly, like people are really excited about it, and that's yeah. like makes us feel really good too. Like we're happy to give it to them. There's some bangers. Yeah. They they get the party going. <laughs> We played Snow Country last night, and y'all had the room. It's all this guy, man. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. I've heard out of uh, a lot of them, Snow Country is definitely, you know, that's top of the list. Yeah. That's my favorite. It's so fun and jumpy. Yeah. And just like, you're you're in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, the mustache turned out. I know that was a requirement. I failed it. I'm so glad you guys didn't kick yeah, me out. Wait. I was a close call there for a minute. But <laughs> I feel like a lot of people followed through and you know there's a competition and everything. So well, I, was that year. Uh, I, was that year. I think this is actually the first year where we've all officially had our mustaches, like strong mustaches. It was solidarity. Yeah. You well, know, some, sometimes some of us have hard time growing them mustache. others. Yeah. 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 mustaches. I had one last year, it was really light. No, okay. This is my okay. first year at the mustache. There we go. <laughs> I, did, I did it so Rex had to do it. Yeah, that's only right. I'd say there's, like a, a, there's a great more, a great deal more people just participating in this Yeah. Year. Yeah. Well, it's fun. Wow. You know? There's a lot of Even mustaches late. here. Right? Yeah. It's a, like almost like kind of insane. There's people passing out mustaches, you know, to those who can't. So, you know what? One girl shaved the mustache into the back of her head. I know that picture. I did see that. <laughs> that was spot on, I swear. You, that's a, that just shows that that picture doesn't, you know, really sum up what tropaholics are and what they're about and what you guys are about. I don't know what is, you know, to be honest. I just wish that, like, I mean, you think about it, like, all Derek had to do was make a post that we were doing mustache competition and all the people did that. I was like, we could channel that into something constructive. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we can pick some litter today. <laughs> mustache, grab the razor. <laughs> no, we talked to the bands and they, they all were like, look, we didn't want to show up here and see what would happen if we didn't. So. <laughs> Brandon Hardesty did. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. personal threatening emails to every single I, I, I actually did. <laughs> I sent I sent threatening messages to. He put uh, in words. This is serious. Buffalo was legitimately yeah. scared. Yeah. Buffalo yeah, should Bob be scared. You should yeah. still be scared. Also, Buffalo has a really nice mustache. Yeah, right. It's, it's good. Awesome, it's really though. Good. 
Don't worry, I got the mustache in an interview with him, so it's forever captured, you know, online for all to see. Uh, since we're here, you know, in the you know camping mood, what are two camping must-haves? What do you, what do you got to bring? What do, to all the, the the newbie campers out there? The mustache is definitely a must. I brought a couple T-shirts and I've been sleeping in the van. I don't camp well. <laughs> <laughs> Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Wet wipes. Hey, look, yeah. look, that was Little Strangers number one. That, and that goes without saying. That's There's, why they smell so good. Yeah, they yeah. do. They're that wonderful was the smelling first man. thing they yeah. had. Then they're like, sunscreen? Got it. They were the most, you know, prepared, I feel like. As Say ibuprofen. It's a must have pretty much yeah. anywhere. You know? You never know what the day is going to come, you know? Sitting out here in the nice sun. All right, I got a would, or would you rather question for you guys. Would you rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck? Is the horse-sized duck hung like a horse? Yes. <laughs> you read the fine print. <laughs> I'm taking the, the horse sized duck. You are? I'm taking the. I've had a rough time with the regular sized duck. Size duck. Yeah, One yeah. hundred. I've had a real rough time with the regular sized duck. One hundred duck sized horses. horses. Yeah. You're gonna tell me, well, you know how many a hundred is? Yeah, I mean, I can mow down them. That's size. what I'm saying. It's, yeah, that's true. What if they're like, like ankle biters, though, too? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> also, I think horses are just naturally more aggressive than French. Right? Horses. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> we have our disposal to fight this horse, duck. Horse duck. Horse duck. Horse duck. Horse duck. Horse duck. Horse duck. So you put a miniature duck sized horse into a turkey inside of a horse sized duck? <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> Just the logistics of that sentence. Right? <laughs> oh, that was a close oh one, God. dude. Scott Kai got it. Damn. Do not worry. <laughs> yeah, no, a little stranger wanted to create a video game with them that has, you know, them fighting a hundred horse-sized horses. <laughs> and the boss is one horse-sized duck. Um, so, you guys are always busy. I love it about you. You always have something going on. You have something great, you know, that people can check out. Um, your upcoming year, I'm sure, is filled with a lot of goodies, you know, post Freak Stomp. I know that you just were on uh, announced for Travel Seeds. I know that because you're coming to Wilmington, and I know I'm going to be there. <laughs> but with New Kingston, you know, sorry, are you excited about that? What else you got, you know, kind of in the works for this? Give the people what they want to know. I'm sitting to the back because I don't know what I'm allowed to say and not allowed to say. Oh, we, got, <laughs> we got like a week with the Bournemouth Road cool. before we hit the road with Travel Seeds. And we're about to make an announcement tonight for our big New Year's Eve show Ooh. in Cleveland at the House of Blues with Bumpin' Uglies, Polar Squares, uh, Toby, and Joey Harkle. Dang. So that's that's going to be crazy. Oh my gosh. If you're trying to ring in the new year right, I think that's the way to go. Yeah. With the that's new record, too. We already drum tracked the new record, so. Yeah. Maybe wintertime we'll put it out. Okay, okay. So something in the nearest future. Oh, yeah. Just enough to keep the people wanting a little more, you Hell know? Hell yeah. So I want to do the same with everybody. If you had a Freak Stop newbie, no one had ever heard of you guys ever and you want to send them a recruitment, we're trying to make sure that they make it here next year. Why would you tell them to come to Freak Stomp 2020? Music is good, the people are better. Boom. Nice. That kind of says it all, to be honest. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> now, hard or soft tacos? Soft. Flaccid. For soft. sure. Soft. Flaccid tacos. 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 Flaccid tacos.
so throw some support out back to them. How's this for support? What do we got? <laughs> <laughs> and that was for you, Chopaholics. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Now, absolutely. Please stay up to date with anything, everything. Chop Adelic. We're going to have all the things that you can follow for social media down below. We want to see you next year at Freestyle. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thank, Thank you. you guys for putting on this show. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Really Thank you. Thanks, guys. We love you. We'll see you next time. Oh, yep. yeah. Let's do it. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have that? <laughs> For that moment, Wait, that's me. Okay. Okay. Pause it in the bush. <laughs> I don't know. I used to carry one of those around. I didn't get sugar for a while. I would do that. I had tense situations. Do you remember that? Yes, actually. It was definitely a thing. No, no. That definitely isn't resonating. Alright, seriously, tighten up. We're trying to do it. Alright, come on. Let's get serious. Jeez.